Prince George's County right now, the council has finished voting on that proposed MGM casino. Our Jeanette Reyes is live in Upper Marlboro with the details. Jeanette? Well, ladies, this is really a big win for proponents of the casino. Just a few minutes ago, council voted in favor of this. Now, the Prince George's County Council, uh, with this vote, MGM National Harbor overcomes its last hurdle, at least in the county. We just stepped out of the meeting minutes ago. Board members, except for one, all of them voted to approve uh, an issue concerning land use. The Nevada-based company needed council's approval to seek construction and other permits for the $925 million complex. We know the the company has been begun preliminary work on the site, prepping the land and removing utilities. This proposal is viewed as a major economic development deal that will generate thousands of jobs and millions of dollars for the county and state. But still, as I mentioned, one board member, Mary Lehman, is concerned about where that money is coming from. Take a listen to what she had to say about it all. This is just not the future I uh, was envisioning for Pr Prince George's, and as I said, it's, you know, it, it's it's an economic, um, it's it's you know, making a decision based on games of chance. And there were some other concerns voiced about the traffic congestion that will surely come when this casino opens in July of 2016. But as far as this vote is concerned, uh, because of the way this all turned out, construction could begin as soon as next month. Reporting live in Prince George's County, Jeanette Reyes, ABC 7 News. All right.